Do you think the Second Amendment applies just to muskets? Does the First Amendment apply to printing presses only? That's kind of ridiculous. There's a lot to do about the Second Amendment, especially here in California, where a lot of laws have just been passed, which essentially chop away, piece by piece, the the right of the citizen to keep and bear arms. I think that the thing that we, we get caught up in is this argument about self-defense, or hunting, or what type of rifle, or what type of handgun, what type of ammo, or how much ammo you can carry, and all these different things. And I think all of that is just nonsense. There's only really two directions that you can go with the Second Amendment that make any sense. The first is the argument that some are making, which is that the Second Amendment was made for a time uh, 200 years ago with a completely different set of circumstances and it really doesn't belong anymore. Now, we can have that argument. We can talk about what it would take uh, to get rid of the Second Amendment altogether, completely alter it, and that's, that's a constitutional amendment process. The only other reasonable direction you can go is in the direction of no limitation. That anything the military has, then a private citizen, if they can afford it, can have it. The knee-jerk reaction when I tell people that is, well, you, you, want, you want people to own bazookas? And I say, yeah. They should be allowed to own bazookas. They should be allowed to own tanks. They should be allowed to own artillery. They shouldn't be allowed to own stinger missiles. Because it's still illegal to kill someone. It's still illegal to murder people. So it doesn't change the fact that it's illegal to murder people. The Second Amendment wasn't written as a protection of our right to defend our home, our family, or our valuable. The Second Amendment was written as a protection of our right to defend our nation. We just fought a war which very literally started with the British Army marching to Concord and Lexington to take a cache of weapons. No nation, no group of nations, would ever consider invading the United States. Not because of our military, not because of our police but because there are 300 million guns in the hands of 100 million gun owners. You know, Hamilton wrote a letter to the owner of a merchant ship, essentially telling them, of course you can buy cannon to defend your merchant ship. You're not military at all, but it's the Second Amendment. It's the right to keep and bear arms. If it's in the military's cash, it's allowable in your cash. I may be swayed to arguments of reasonable limitation, just like there's a reasonable limitation on speech where you, you can't do a call to action. That's not a protected form of free speech. So the reasonable limitation would not be in the type of fi firearm. It wouldn't be in the um, type of ammunition. It wouldn't be in the number of firearms. It would be in where you can use them legally, where you can practice them legally. Uh, you can't fire a firearm inside city limits. It's not only a right of every American to keep and bear arms, but it is a duty of every able-bodied American of fighting age to maintain weapons that are in common usage by the military and rounds for them. Here in California, every year there's some new thing that's trying to limit your capability to exercise this right. The laws that were just passed, which go into effect 1 January 2017, 1 January 2018, are highly unconstitutional, but Californians feel that it's in their best interest to be unarmed. Seventh largest economy in the world, and we want to disarm. One of the most egregious laws that was just passed is this that assault weapons have to be registered. I'd love to hear your comments on how registering an assault weapon will preserve my liberty, how it, how it will tell me what good purpose could it possibly Hey guys, hope you liked the video. This is uh, video number two in a series called Stupid Should Hurt, because I think stupid should hurt and it doesn't, and that's why there's so much of it. If you like the video, please subscribe. That should be... Click like down below, share it with your friends, um, comment. I'd love to hear your comments, and let me know what, which of the videos that you want to see next, um, what topic you want me to talk about. Be safe. Have a great day.